वेलकम टू दिस इकोनॉमिक लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टेक स्वामित्व स्कीम रिसेंटली गवर्नमेंट हैव इशूड अ प्रॉपर्टी कार्ड फॉर द पीपल हैविंग शोइंग द राइट्स ऑन द पीपल सो देर आर मेनी लैंड डिस्प्यूट्स इन द इंडिया इफ यू सी एफ डी आई अट्रैक्शन इन द इंडिया इज मोर एंड many a times they used to step back because of the land dispute in the india so what is this swamitva scheme we will see in this lecture moving ahead first i will request you to please subscribe this channel this is a new channel so i need your support and i request you to please go through this video till the end so that you will have a complete picture of this topic okay so what is this property issues in the india so if you have owns a property so you will have a two types of title you will have a two type of title one will be your conclusive title and another will be your presentive title so what is the difference between this conclusive title and the presentive title so a person who owns a property like see issues happen what you have a land a and you have a property paper of land a and person a have the same paper and person b have the same paper like let us suppose a, a brother of the of a brother of this owner of this land they, it belongs to the two uh, people and one brother has solemnly sold the whole land to a person b so it is completely illegal so person brother of a person of this land there are two brothers this own to a two brother one brother doesn't know about it and another brother sell the whole sold the whole land to the another person b so this is what this is a land dispute issue so in india we are famous for this issue so this issue like if he proves to the ownership through the set of documents the set of documents will provide him two types of title so what are the two types of title one will be your presentive title and the another will be your conclusive title so what is the presentive title and what is conclusive title so presentive title is a disputed title and conclusive title will be your government given title that it, the dispute has been resolved now it solemnly uh, it's given to you you are the owner so a person will show a piece of paper and will show us ownership on the property so that will call you that the presentive title so more than one person may have the ownership the paper of the same property which creates a problem of land dispute within the india and the conclusive title it is the government which provides guarantee to the ownership on the title that no this land will anyhow if you have that presentive title this land will belongs to you only okay so in government of india have taken lots of step regarding it also so earlier government of india had launched many schemes to provide conclusive title like in 1988 government of india launched land record modernization program okay and but later like in 1988 like government knows like if they want in that time in the 1988 time we, we don't have that so much uh, private companies coming into india because the government motive was that only public sector companies and that's why in 1991 our economy crashed okay so in the 1988 the land record modernization program was launched and after that in 2008 it was relaunched with the name as national land record modernization program so to clear this land dispute issue so this program was launched so that the people will have a conclusive title okay so as per the digital india mission by the our Go modi government after 2014 so it was launched so as per the digital india mission mission 90% land records of the villages are digitized as per the government provision so there are many claims against this data but as per the government as per this mission 90% land records have been digitized actually the issue was that we have all the paper works was there so paper works did create what lots of thick issue so who is going to search who have the ownership right 
many times they have some connection within the government and they that uh, disturb those papers or they threw that papers or remove that papers destroy that papers okay so that's why government decided to digitize all those land dispute issues and they started to give the conclusive title so this property card under this scheme have been launched so the swamit scheme in this scheme a survey will be done and land documents or the property cards will be issued to the owner of these lands so first i forgot to explain i have given here the full form of the swamit is the survey of villages and the mapping with the improvised technology so this full form only will explain you lots of thing swamit stands for survey of villages and mapping with improvised technology okay so this swamitva scheme will identify those lands and it will give them a property cards and they will have a conclusive title not presentive title okay so in case of india one of the issues with the fdi as i have said that private companies come and invest into india so only issues with them the fdi issues with them is the land dispute land dispute is the main issues for them after that everything is clear even when the highway is being constructed the only issues is the land who will get that land from where that land will be get like whether this land will be given to the government authority central government authority or not or whether this land is going to give to the f that uh, foreign companies or not because let us suppose they bought from the person a and after that buying the land from the person a they are going to know that this land belongs to person b so who is going to take that burden of loss okay so that's why this swamit scheme has been launched so in case of india one of the issues in the attraction of fdi has been in the issue of land titles and government of india has identified 1 lakh villages who will be provided swamit property cards to six states they have initially started with the six states so this particular owners can use these card to monetize their assets so these six states are up haryana maharashtra madhya pradesh uttarakhand karnataka just remember these names are important for this current affair right now for the coming exams also what are these steps up haryana maharashtra madhya pradesh uttarakhand and karnataka okay so this scheme will be implemented from 2020 to the 2024 and during this four years time period the objective is to cover all the villages they will cover all the villages right now they have started with these villages only they may extend this villages throughout the india and and they have identified right now 1 lakh villages so as per the current situation as per the scheme right now just remember they have identified 1 lakh villages six states are going to be implemented through this scheme swamit scheme they are going to get property card holders which are the three which are the six states up haryana maharashtra madhya pradesh uttarakhand and the karnataka so this scheme will be implemented from 2020 to 2024 so this scheme is seen by the who which ministry taking this scheme so this scheme will be taken by the panchayati raj ministry and other department involved like the national informatics or national survey of india in a like national survey of india like if this land is belong to the historical sites or not so they will look into such kind of issues so national informatics center national survey of india gram panchayat offices and all okay so i hope you have understand this lecture i have given my best please like and subscribe your subscription is a form of payment for me if you have any doubts if you want any on demand video lecture please feel free to ping on my twitter handle thank you